and these are the appropriately named furnace mittens by Tough Outfitters. These keep my hands dry and warm on even the coldest of days, whether I'm out skiing, be it at the resort or in the backcountry, or doing any other winter activity that may make my hands really cold. Luckily for me, I have these to keep my hands warm and I prefer wearing mittens rather than gloves on those really cold days because my fingers are sharing the same space, which means they're sharing the same warmth and insulation. It's just giving me that extra boost of warmth for my hands that tend to get really cold really easily. These mittens feature tough Summit Loft insulation, which is waterproof, windproof, and breathable. The outer layer of the fabric is treated with a durable water repellent finish that keeps water out. Each layer of fabric acts as a membrane, allowing vapor to pass from the inside to the outside. The middle TPU membrane acts as a breathable insulation layer. Now, what do all these layers mean for you? warm and dry hands on even the longest and coldest of days outside. In addition to Summit Loft insulation, these are built with a waterproof nylon shell, which keeps your hands nice and dry throughout the day. The furnace mittens are tough and durable. They're built to last thanks to the synthetic leather palm, reinforced nylon and double stitch seams. These mittens are great for men and women. They come in three different sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. Once you choose your correct size, these mittens offer a snug and secure fit. Thanks to the one-handed cinch strap and the wrist leashes. I personally really like the wrist leashes because I can take these mittens off on the chairlift and not be afraid of dropping them. Once again, these are the furnace mittens by Tough Outfitters. If you are like me and your hands get really cold, I would highly suggest the furnace mitts. They'll keep your hands warm and dry on the longest and coldest of days. So what's the difference between an over mitt and an under mitt? In the over mitt, uh, you'll get a lot more material up past the wrist. Uh, what that does allows it to sit over the sleeve nicely. And it also comes with a cinch, so you can cinch it down to prevent any more snow from getting up that sleeve. In the under mitt version, uh, it'll be more of a tapered look to it. Uh, you lose a lot of that material in there, a lot of the bulk. Uh, you still have the Velcro cinch, and it does still have some elasticity to it to keep it tight to your wrist. But you don't have that bulk. Uh, from that you get from the overglove. The overglove is generally for someone who's out in deep snow all day, uh, trying to keep that pow out, whether they're riding back country or out in the trees all day. While the underglove is generally for the resort or park riders. Uh, but again, it's a lot of personal preference uh, up to you on what you decide. Mm -hmm.